dark side? Yeah. I didn't think you were on the light side to begin with. No, oh, no, but now I'm on TikTok. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, dirty, I, I, dirty. I thought it was something with the references to the the butt plugs going back and forth with Andy. So I thought you <laughs> you had discovered <laughs> discovered a side of yourself you didn't know existed. Or <laughs> I think that backfired a little bit, didn't it, Andy? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as long as it literally didn't backfire, it's okay, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you've went from not being able to turn on Instagram to TikTok? Yeah. Yeah, I am still struggling how to work TikTok a little bit, to be fair. <laughs> it annoys me every time I go on it to see if I've had any, any activity. I get there's just a young girl there and then she does this and she turns into a cartoon character. And I was like, I don't want to see this. Why are you showing me this every time I turn it on? <laughs> it's just crap. <laughs> I mean, it is a cra- it's a crappy app. And I-, I saw this, it was a news article where they said that a certain amount of uh, people today get all the news from TikTok. And I was like, but but how? I mean, you, you you open that app, and of course, there, there's a plus sign to put your stuff out there. But other than that, it's just showing you random stuff, and yeah. you is that girl. And for for me, it's it's now basically tractor content for one reason I don't understand. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's like, all right, if if this is the way people get their news, we're doomed. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What well, what made you do that, Claire? Oh, just wanted more likes in my life. I need to be <laughs> honest with you. <laughs> it's become a little bit of a problem. <laughs> Sounds like it. <laughs> We've even got another social media thing as well. I can't remember what it's called now. Let me have a quick. Was there blue, blue something? Blue vision. Blue, blue sky. Something? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'm not posted a thing on that. I'm not a single follower or followed. Oh no, I followed Tim. I only went on it because he went on it, and I said, "What's this?" He said, "Oh, a new social media." Isn't that Come supposed in. to be nice Twitter? It looks like threads to me. People just posting stuff and nobody else responding. <laughs> <laughs> Like Instagram, then. <laughs> All the platforms Inst- are the void. That's, yeah. that's not how Instagram works for me. I'm already doing it wrong. <laughs> yeah, most likely. <laughs> yeah. Do you watch TikTok, Andy? No. I've Good never, man. It's not an app I have no. downloaded yet. No. I don't watch it. I watch... I watch Havar and Chloe. I think they're the only two makers I follow on there. And you, those two pop up on my feed quite a bit. Yeah, I have you, Chloe, and Turgworks. So that's... <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I get flooded <laughs> with that. But but that's nice. I mean, I, I know all of you. And... Can't you just have the WhatsApp group instead? Just the three of you? <laughs> yeah. Four of you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's funny, though, is that you wouldn't stand for me recycling all my Instagram content on Fuck a little that's... WhatsApp group, would you? I'm going to make a WhatsApp group and I'm just going to invite the people who like my posts. And so I'm going to be like, this is the the like people. <laughs> <laughs> I keep getting notifications for threads. You know, so many people I know is on threads and they want you to come along and follow them, basically. Does anyone else get those notifications? Uh, yeah. Well, I'm, no. They come up on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, we've got two Instagram accounts, and both of those are on threads. And so I just get saying three people have followed you, and and once a month I click on there and follow them back and then come off it and go back into Instagram. (laughs) I never post on there at all. It just popped up. The day it came out, it popped up on my... uh, on, on Instagram and said, oh, there's this new social media. So I'm in, <laughs> click. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's first day messages were, what's all this about there? And no one was answering each other at that point. Complete <laughs> waste of time. Yeah, I'm really good at ignoring that sort of thing. Yeah, I was Did you ever think... go on threads, KJ? I don't even know what it looks like. No. Uh, I think it might have something have popped up and I just... Oh, Oh, well, that's, <laughs> and I haven't looked back. Thank well, you, KJ. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I haven't, I don't have time to do a proper job of 
just stay just being active on Instagram or YouTube. So I do not need a new thing, whatever that is. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. Too few hours in the day. I, I I started to. I mean, there is a lot of social media out there, and do people choose their poison and and stick to it, or do the kids today? work between all of them because i i am with you uh, kj i although i have threads just to reserve my name there basically but i don't have the time i i i just follow the people i talk to on instagram as well i i, I mean if i spend too much time on it just scrolling like all right i should be down in the workshop making stuff mm-hmm. so i've been thinking about I know that Instagram, you can also log on to your computer. Uh, I'm not sure if you can um, post content from there, but probably you could because a lot of businesses and so on probably do it from a computer. I think you can now, actually. So, yeah. You couldn't a while ago. So then the question is, should I just delete the app from the phone? Because then I could just be on social media when I'm at my computer editing something that I'm going to put out and the rest of the people that I basically want to talk to, I have on WhatsApp. So I really don't need Instagram for communicating that much anymore. I, I couldn't. <laughs> no, but you uh, you have a disease. <laughs> I mean, the WhatsApp groups we have, like the, the CMO group is, I mean, that's really nice way to interact and having people share stuff as well. Yeah, you barely go on that as well, okay? <laughs> Yeah, and, and you, I, I go on it, and I, I have read every single message I've got. Yeah, but I'm not. I mean, I'm not on that all the time. And all of a sudden, there is 500 messages that you've missed, and then it's <laughs> hard enough just to go through with them. Um, yeah. it's a nice, it's a nice pace. The uh, the CMA WhatsApp group, I quite like that. It's um, you know, when you've had a day when you've recorded bad audio. Then you've got the messages, and then you've got Instagram, and then you've got YouTube, and whatever TikTok else there is. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> those those days can be a little bit more all cheap the same for me. All yeah, the same <laughs> yeah. Following all the same people, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <That's> nuts. <laughs> I think I used to obsessively just look at. I've always just randomly check things though, so it's just the latest obsession for me. Just checking what's going on on those things. I used to just randomly constantly check emails and what's going on in the bank account and more mundane stuff before that. At least it's a little bit more entertaining nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that, that's nice to know though when uh, the podcast. Uh really blows up we need someone who check the bank account every every hour and gives us the stats <laughs> <laughs> i check the bank account now all the time <laughs> i must admit i have i've come to that point where i don't do that as much i i've, I've managed to align everything of the major things that needs to be paid is on the day when I get paid so of course the day I get paid I go on to the bank and just verify that everything is that should be paid is paid and so on and like and that's about it and then of course uh, you have like a, a number update on your phone so whenever you're just going to the store buying something you know that okay I, I can afford this or not but yeah really tone down the bank thing and then there is i think there are two companies who they still insist on sending you invoices in paper form and we don't check our mailboxes unless i know something is coming but then i have the the postal service app and they give me notification whenever something is dropped in my mailbox so it can go weeks and then it's like oh you just received a parcel and i trudge away to the, the mailbox and open it up oh there's a lot of letters here and it's like <laughs> payment reminder and uh, have you forgotten about us and god damn it we are in 2024 send me an electronic invoice or a, or a reminder i mean 
they have my phone number or my email because they have no problem sending me spam and ads for anything. Then, God damn it, send me the invoice electronically. But no, paper it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fortunately, I really don't, I don't have to deal with any of that. I'm a married professional admin, so yeah, <laughs> it's not yeah, my problem. So. <laughs> not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> Personal financial advice. So, yeah, yeah, that's nice. Not even you... random to be involved. <laughs> no. <laughs> she used to say the same thing about gardening, but I've been on strike for the past couple of years at home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this the thing that will make her start striking when it comes to that part? So, you have to go back to the garden work. The thing is, if she goes on strike, we'll lose the house. <laughs> I mean, I think she can discern the things that only affect you. And so you can keep the house, but none of your benefits mm -hmm. are. Yeah. How much paperwork are you willing to do so you don't have to do gardening? <laughs> I do. The only paperwork I do do is my tax return once a year, yeah. which I actually really enjoy doing because it's just once a year. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, after that, I'm not prepared to do any more. <laughs> So is it the lawnmower or the desk? What do you choose? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I do. I do do the lawn mowing, just not as often as I should, <laughs> which is ridiculous because I look after some quite large properties. And I can cut my lawns in less than 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess it's the, the, the cobbler's shoes or the cobbler's yeah, children exactly. or whatever it's called. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the blacksmith's yeah. horse. Yeah, I bet Andy doesn't start messing about with endoscopes at home. <laughs> Not anyway. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, after 20 plus years, it starts to get uh, repetitive. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean that's uh, we ha had Molten Make on and, and we talked about the medical equipment that you could use in the workshop as well and of course I could probably see several uses of an endoscope in my workshop but knowing the algorithms out there I'm I'm afraid just to Google it and ordering one. I mean, the <laughs> the paper trail and the ads I'm going to get from that, I, I'm not willing to, <laughs> to go down that path. You're taking the hint there, Andy. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Slightly used. Here, you can yeah. As long as it's been wiped well. <laughs> yeah. That the things that you learn as a maker. Uh, I, last week, I I was making acid to make the the table legs I made in metal. I wanted them to rust, so you you mix hydrogen peroxide, vinegar, and salt, and you get is it muric acid or something like that? A really mild one, of course, but it makes the rust process really go uh, quickly. And of course, reading up on the subject, it's like, all right, but this acid is used uh, also for cleaning sur surgical equipment and where you have basically bodily fluids on because uh, it really kills uh, everything organic on it. So, yeah, and endoscopes and whatnot uh, are cleaned with uh, some, of those, some of these solutions. And like, now you know, but... <laughs> Not, not sure what I'm going to use it for. Oh, there you go, then. You don't even have to supply a clean one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you on tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> then you get a question from the, from the custom what, what, service. We, we have a strange like, package here. <laughs> I mean, it, yeah, it would probably go through the customs because I got a bomb today and that went through without question. So, seen that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got one of Sarah's F bombs. I really love ah, it. That's yeah. brilliant. <laughs> Turns out, though, that 
the British Postal Service customs don't talk to the Norwegian one. So once I got it, I, I also had to pay Norwegian VAT and customs fees on it. So I paid just as much in fees as it cost oh, for no. to buy it and ship it. <laughs> Yeah. But I mean, it was worth every penny. So it, yeah, it's bloody awesome. <laughs> it, it got to you pretty quickly, didn't it? Yeah, I think it was less than a week. Yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah, but I think it's right there on the border. I, I there there is a few things that I, I I want to order and some few things that I need to send. But I think the postal service has already started running ads, uh, showing dates. I mean, if you don't send before this date, we can't guarantee it will get here this year and so on. So I think we are getting very close to that deadline. If you want anything mm -hmm. this side of New Year's, you basically have maybe two weeks. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Got my uh, latest tour from China in just under a week. Yeah, that. I, I was amazed. I ordered uh, the parts for the, the guitar pedal, and that was here in less than a week from China. I, I was I did not expect it at all. I mean, I even got it before I went on holiday, and that's annoying because you get a lot of parts, and I'm like, all right, I'm ready to go down to the <laughs> workshop. Now, all right, you have to leave for a week. Um, <laughs> but I've been smart because our friend over at the... Brock, the guitar pedal company that we met at Copper Festival. Yeah. He's having a course in Oslo in two weeks um, where you you pay a sum and they provide all the parts and you spend six hours on a Saturday uh, going through some theory and you solder together your own guitar pedal and you get to bring it home. And the price you pay for that one day course is way less than it would cost you just buying one of those pedals in the store and of course they don't know what they got themselves into because i'm there to to do research for the the pedal that we're going to build uh, from the parts that yeah. we have so uh, <laughs> i'm going to be the one on front row asking all the questions but how about how about but what if you want to do like but <laughs> what, what if you have this part this what, how would you <laughs> yeah. so yeah see that's how they get you hooked it's like no 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 this is just the basic pedal making class <laughs> <laughs> yeah you really want to go on to the intermediary class <laughs> that's a little bit more expensive yeah. <laughs> yeah and then they get you with the one you're 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 too good to be here, you know. You should be in the advanced class. And, oh, the teacher likes yeah. me. And then you pay <laughs> five times the price to go to another course. <laughs> I'd, I'd be like, it's a lot of work, but I, but I'm not sure you can do it. But the advanced class is there in case you ever wanted to consider it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe you're not capable. Maybe it's not for you this time round. <laughs> 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 That, that would probably work too, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I got a uh, another high cheek at all sent oh, yeah. to me. I wasn't even sure it was coming. Another? So wasn't this the first one? No, I had a I had the power drill. Um, yeah, okay. Oh, a while ago, and then they got in touch to say, "Would you like to try the rotary tool?" And we had a little bit of tune and froing, and I basically got a little bit bored with the conversation because the translations weren't great. And so I just thought I just left it, and I didn't think it was coming. And the next minute, I got a notification saying, "You're expecting a parcel on Friday." <laughs> okay, <laughs> what's coming? <laughs> <laughs> and up turned the uh, the Chinese tool, which is actually pretty bloody good, actually. It looks very much like a Dremel. It no. actually outperforms my Dremel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for a lot less money. I'm not advertising my Chica, but no, it was it was pretty good actually. Really quite impressed with it. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. You mustn't have liked my post on their little saw because they didn't send me anything else. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was incorporating them in a video that helped, Andy. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, snuck it in the whistle one as well this time round. Yeah, and I think they asked me if I wanted something else on the email after that. But again, I'm not quite sure. The translation things, it doesn't seem like it's the same guy that we spoke to to start out with. Hmm. It's, um, I, I do wonder if I'm talking to a robot that's just sending me things now, <laughs> which is <laughs> ideal, Fine. really, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. If I knew they were operating in Norway, and I realized that they actually did, because, I mean, the, the major tool companies, they, they sometimes load up... Uh, a full truck and they go on a road show uh, to all uh, the major cities. And I actually, in a newspaper somewhere, I saw an ad that uh, Haichika is actually doing a tour in Norway with a huge trailer and presenting there. So they're, they're trying to launch it here as well. So yeah, I'm, I'm staying in touch. I mean, you don't know where a company like that might go. I mean, they might end up doing, you know, rip off, um, Store stops, store stops, and things like that in the future. I'm sticking yeah. with them. <laughs> They're yeah. the first to make the domino. When the... <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was going yeah. to say that. Yeah. Like, ask them if they got a domino. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, a Chinese manufacturer. I mean, it could go anywhere, couldn't it? They can literally make anything. So, yeah, yeah, yeah they yeah. already do. So, <laughs> yeah, <exactly>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, free stuff is always nice. Yeah, I think so. Maybe we'll have a YouTube <laughs> video after all that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've had, uh, what have I had? 70 quids worth of tools now, Andy, for all those hours making those YouTube <laughs> videos. <laughs> well worth it for that. <laughs> I mean, could you go to, you, you, you should, of course, be uh, confident in your YouTube game, but... Could I go to the hardware store and buy a, a drill and a Dremel and I mean, I mean the chief off-brand ones for just a few bucks and then do as Diresta does, just spray paint them white as a canvas and just put your logo here. And you just make a short video where you're building something and you're just using those white tools and you just send it to companies. And I like, the only thing you write, this could be you, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't think any of us are in a position to do that right now. But maybe with a few more numbers behind us. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's not TikTok all about the numbers. <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've been on it. I've been on it for about a week now, and I've got nine followers, so I'm doing pretty well. That's quite disheartening. <laughs> starting with a yeah. started at the bottom with a, <laughs> a social media thing again. But that being said, though, I mean, the numbers on the, the follower side is, is much lower, but the views and the likes are... I've seen other people talking about it as well. You, you get much more attention there. So all the videos I post on Instagram, I basically just copy them over to to TikTok and I get like four or five times more views on each video. So... At some point, I think early next year, I'm going to have more followers on TikTok than on Instagram. But none of them are actively like, very few of them are commenting and you're not talking to them. So it's it's a totally different demographic. Yeah. yeah. I wonder how many of those are actual views. I mean, that's like the, the YouTube algorithm that counts a view <laughs> if you have the video running for 30 seconds. Yeah. But that's not really a view. Yeah, that is one thing. But I see probably now two thirds of the people following me on TikTok are they have John Deere or some tractor related <laughs> name. And if you look at, uh, I mean, it's it's a lot. I don't think any bot would be so specific. <laughs> I mean, if you look at the picture on their uh, pages and everything, it's like. Mm. I have a sensation these are actual people. <laughs> Order bots for bots for the Trump administration. Yeah. And maybe they're going to be disappointed in your future content that is not tractor related. <laughs> yeah, that's 
I mean, if there's a red thread in anything, it's like disappointing people who are watching a video like, oh, this is what I'm into. And all right, he never did that again. So I have a lot of Hellcorder people who are like, come on, make another Hellcorder video. And here I am doing crocheting or woodworking <laughs> or like, God damn it. <laughs> And that's an awkward silence, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Does it feel good to live one? Glad to have experienced one. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Live in the moment. So well, maybe just paint the helicopter green. Oh. Then, then you'll get the tractor crowd happy. Yeah. When is, uh, I mean, you're an Irishman. When is St. Patrick's Day? I mean, uh, Oh. Mark. I, was, I was thinking yeah. about that today, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Stick a green hat on you, Havar, and you are that leprechaun, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. And a pot of gold. <laughs> <laughs> Sat on a pot of YouTube money. <laughs> World's smallest pot. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sit on that, because it'll go up you. <laughs> I mean, it, it would be the size of the, the cup that you made. Uh, and that needs work now, Glad. I was I was sitting here editing video, drinking whiskey, and then I was fiddling with a cable or something, and I heard a very distinctive pop. I'm like, what, yeah. what was that sound? And, and then I took another sip, and I realized it cracked down the side. Oh, no. So now, now I have a problem. It's it's very thin walled, of course. So there's yeah. probably some tensions in the wood and the moisture and the temperature. Probably. Oh, I was only crack. saying. I was only saying. No, no, it didn't waste any whiskey, did it? No, no, no. Oh, oh that's all right. God, yeah. <laughs> it was a very expensive whiskey. No, that's just... <laughs> I so now the bill. <laughs> now I started thinking because I, I made actually an oak ring for the the milk steamer project I made, and I made that so thin that it it cracked when I tried to fit it over the base of the, the steamer, so I had to make an inlay. Yeah, And I'm thinking to do the same here, but I'm not sure. I don't want to cut it in half. I just want basically like a gold tooth <laughs> or, or something. Yeah, yeah. So I need to make a notch where I can fit something. And of course, it would be really cool to do a brass inlay, but I'm thinking that brass, although it's easy to work with it it's still harder than the oak so if you're trying to sand it flush you're going to end up yeah. sanding the wood around it so uh, of course i could do some other teak inlay as i've done before but it would be cool to do some other materials but i would yeah. literally just tape up the inside and epoxy the crack that's too easy though i mean I use a, a, a river ta river table cup yeah, well, oh, I made a two hundred thousand oh, dollar river table cup. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, mm. yeah. I have the, I see the thumbnail already. That's going to get loads of views. If you can just <laughs> yeah. mention that I made the cup in the first place, even though it's failed, I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, <laughs> my friend is a failure, so no one <laughs> yeah. makes <his> mistakes. <laughs> Pixie, yeah, Pixie, my ex friends, <laughs> mistakes. <laughs> Just get some uh, gold leaf and uh, add it into the mix so it's real gold. And then, yeah, no one cares. Yeah. That's that's the thing, though. I have, no, I had, uh, but uh, my father was a sailor in uh, the 70s. And, of course, he brought a lot of things home. And some of the, the wooden figures had something that looked like ivory, and when I talked about it, it was, yeah, 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 that's ivory, so don't try and sell it online, because you might actually get arrested, because that's illegal in Norway. Um, so, yeah, maybe I should have a ivory inlay. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, no. <laughs> Not making it easy for yourself. No. Super glue. Yeah. Let's lots see, and lots of super that, glue. That would be the most. <laughs> or hot glue, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Just fuck. Hot glue gone. Save the children's teeth and grind them up and 
It's kind of our ivory like, isn't it? Ew! Oh, that's... Baby teeth inlay, though. <laughs> no one's done that before. Oh. Andy's even writing that one down. <laughs> <laughs> No, he's, he's un- unsubscribing from all your social media platforms. <laughs> he's a serial killer for bad. sure. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, that's so wrong. I mean, it's a small crack, isn't it? You could even just sort of put them in like uh, like you would bow ties. <laughs> all the way up. Uh, for, 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 like, oh, forget geez. about it. I, I, I'm going to throw it away now. <laughs> I mean, you've ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess I'd fire to it and uh, I'm going to rinse my brain with, uh, yeah. I'm going to drink all the alcohol. I don't want to remember this. <laughs> And then when you do that, it's just going to crack at the other side anyway. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, this is... So it was funny, isn't it? Because when I started the turning journey, I was making the very thin stuff. And I think we had a conversation of how thin is too thin. So now we know. It's about about three and a half mil, isn't it? That whiskey cup. Something like that. So that's too Yeah, thin. because you you turned two something and then this was three something, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But that that's another thing I remember that my parents <laughs> had in the eighties, nineties. Uh they had a cup, a half a cup. It was like uh it was flat on the middle and then it, it was basically if you cut a cup in half and then you put a, a flat plate on one side and it had the engravings. You said a half a cup because when people, if you ask them, do you want coffee? Yeah, I want half a cup. And then you give them a half a cup. And that was a joke. But I could do that <laughs> with your uh, your whiskey glass. I could cut it in two and actually just yeah. glue a flat plate on. And then I had two half cups. Yeah, I mean, it's an It'd be a long reason. time waiting for someone to sell of half a whiskey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But I mean, you can you can fill one side with gin and another with tonic and just drink it from the middle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can... Mix a cup, yeah. Clever. Oh, and then I could I can make a brass handle that would hold the two parts separately, but evenly spaced, so that you can actually drink from them with gin and tonic. Yeah, now we're starting. Now we're yeah. starting. It's better than a tea, Thaddy. I only made... <laughs> Anything is better. <laughs> I only made you that cup because we had that drunken conversation that evening and you were drinking £2,000 whiskey out of a dirty wine glass. <laughs> <laughs> like some sort of Norwegian heathen. <laughs> Isn't that the same thing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's butter on bacon, as we say in Norway. <laughs> butter on bacon. That's great. <laughs> right then, gentlemen, on that note, should we call it an evening? <laughs> I think so. I think I, I don't know where to go from here. So. Well, I mean, me neither. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Andy. Thank you for having me on. Great fun. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs>